Linda Germain here from Printmaking Without a Press, and I wanted to go over the supply, suggested supply list for the Make Marks in Books course. The first thing you'll need is a couple different kinds of paper. Um, it's not essential, but it's kind of nice to have uh, heavyweight drawing paper that I cut and use for my main and most of the pages in the book. And then a transparent paper like a tracing paper or parchment paper um, is nice for a peekaboo style uh, page that lends to mystery. And then it's really nice to have a heavyweight printmaking paper, mixed media paper, or uh, heavyweight drawing paper for the cover. Gelatin plate and inks and a brayer will be for one of the layers that we create in this bookmaking process. I like to use the homemade gelatin plate in the speedball inks because I can get super thin and transparent layers, which is one of the important things in this process. And then a series of mark making tools, found tools, stamping tools. So here I have a potato masher, caps and cups, a bubble blower, a picnic plate cover. Um, so just things I've collected over the years. A huge zipper. Um, purchase stamps might work nicely. Cut glass is always wonderful and um, this is from a computer, the back of a computer fan, and industrial samples, anything that you can find that can make delicate marks in the gelatin, ink on the gelatin plate. I find it's really kind of interesting to work in alphabets and numbers and light letters, so a um, alphabet stencil is fun. We're going to make cardboard stamps. So to start you just need some blank corrugated cardboard and a sharp cutting knife and we'll have some fun with that. It's kind of magical the way you can get intricate designs with just simple cardboard. That might be, might be nice to have a stamping set if you want to stamp in words at some point in the process. I have a couple little stamping sets. And to sew our book we'll need a sharp instrument like a awl or a push pin. If you don't have wax thread we can wax your own thread or you can wax um, embroidery thread so and a, and a big fat needle <laughs> for sewing and finally um, some sticky back foam or foam with glue and then some, a, a, a structure to glue the cutouts to um, uh, you can find this at the doll store sometimes and then what we'll do is we'll make shapes simple shapes and glue them to uh, wooden blocks or foam core or caps <laughs> whatever we can find all right gather up some supplies and I hope you join us enjoy